Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode in 1.3. Susanna, I just killed the slime. Thank you, I need this gel. I'm running a bit low on this stuff for torches, but then if I look at the other hand, I'm not running low on torches, but yeah, I'm pretty low on gels. So, today, today I'm going to start with statues and wires and stuff. Now I sort of have an outpost here already, but I haven't decided a theme. But then I thought, hey, why don't I use wires here to use as the theme for this place? So I guess this is where I'll be experimenting with my gadgets and whatevers. So let's begin. What I'm going to do is wire up some statues with wire, obviously. I brought a one second timer some switches and a lava bucket. Now let's see what I want to do is first create a pit that I can use for testing how dangerous is lava. I want to figure out how shallow I can make it without destroying items. So I'm gonna start with a is this four blocks wide? Yeah four block wide pit with one square of lava and to test if it will destroy something, I'll just toss in a block of wood. It does. So that means I'm going to have to make it at least one block wider. I think the limit is maybe seven. I have no idea. I'm actually guessing. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Now let's try. No, I can't take it from here. Still too deep. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, actually don't destroy that. How about this? This probably looks to be the same. I didn't see it shrink any. Nope. How about... I lost count. This is like seven or eight blocks wide. How about this? Still too shallow. Still not shallow enough, I should say. Now, what about this? Didn't look like it changed at all. Jeez. How about this? Lava sure is picky. Yes. Oh, there we go. That looks like the magic number. Now how wide is this? I can turn on my ruler. Let's see, so what if I go back here? There we go. So it is 10 blocks wide. Now let me just turn this off. So that's the number I have to work with. Just trying to nab this without dying. So next thing is, well, I might want to pick this up. How to do that? Just create a small pit for it. Uh, yeah, so this is tricky. There we go. Can let it drain into, into there. Because I want to have this positioned a little higher. Because I want to get underneath it to pick up all the goodies that fall from the things that die in it. And my bucket is here. Thank you. Yoink. It's nice that I have the ruler to check the number of blocks on things. Okay, now I'm going to walk underneath stuff like this to pick up the spoils. So I'll just create that space for myself. I want it to be this high. So the lava will sit there approximately. Let me just square this off and make it 10 blocks. You know what? I'm going to go all the way into the wall here. It's smart of me to do this during the day too because slimes aren't going to be constantly bothering me or zombies or whatever else shows up. I just had a blood moon. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the wall. The wall, more like the edge of the wooden tub. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Lava inside your wooden container. Oh my god, it's Pinky! Die, Pinky! Give me all your money. Slime staff! Nice. Three gold, ten silver. That brings back memories, doesn't it? That's the only thing I would actually want to get move out of my working busy thing to do for. Words, huh? Okay, now how wide is this? Ten, great. Should be able to just dump my lava bucket right in here. Plop. 
and as always make sure you test things before you actually do anything with them great so I can walk down under here pick up the goodies that fall out oh look my little pet is swimming through the lava whoosh all right so next thing I want is for mobs to spawn from statues and fall into this I think I can just place statues right into the lava can I? Can I not? Oh, you know, I thought I could, but that's an easy fix. So I could just have to dump the lava into another thing to pick it up. Then I could place the statues before filling this with lava. Okay, put that there for slimes. Now the thing with statues and wire is that if you hook a wire up to a certain statue, they spawn a real life animated version of that statue. Most statues they don't do anything when sent a wire signal. Now what was I going to do? More statues. So it's 10 blocks wide that means I have two extra spaces to work with. One there and one there. I'm not sure if Piranha spawns something. I think it does. Fill this with lava. Great to see it. Now the statues are there. And so is the lava. Great. Now, um, all I have to do is enclose it. And wire it up. The grand design is an excellent item. Because I can do this from anywhere on the screen. Oh, I, this has to be perfect. Oh, whatever you do, if you ever get the chance, if you take a tour of a volcano or something, please don't try to use wood to carry lava. It probably won't work out very well. I guess that's it. Now I'm not sure where exactly I want to have my device turn on thing. Right there. Actually, no, that's too far in. Suzanne up there having fun, killing stuff. Well, I'll decide about the room decor later. For now, I just need to get the mechanisms in place. And that would be actually pretty fancy to have this on some kind of stand. Go away, slime. Thank you for the banner. Now I'll just stick my timer on here. What this does is sends a signal to anything connected to it every one second. Like, I think on off, or I think pretty sure it is on off. I mean, if you connect it to a door, it will open and close repeatedly. And what else? Switch. Don't need that. I guess that's all that's left to do. Wire it up. So connect everything to a one second timer. Hey, there it goes. So we got piranhas, we got jellyfish, we got slimes, but the goblin statue, I guess it doesn't do anything. So let me just chop that up. Oh, and if you want to, actually, no, that doesn't matter. So I was going to say, if you want to pick up an item without it being destroyed, make sure you're right next to it as it's destroyed. But it doesn't matter here because the lava is not deep enough to destroy items. Hooray! Like jellyfish necklace. Now, the reason I did this is for like some kind of gold farm. Not sure how many statues I can wire up at a time or how effective I can make this. Efficient. Maybe I'll find another uh, statue that works in place of Goblin. Let me take that. What I'm actually trying to do is get the diving helmet from the jellyfish. Uh, I think it drops from jellyfish or it could drop from any mob in an ocean biome. And even though I'm killing jellyfish here and I'm not in an ocean biome, I won't get it. So, well, I'm, so I'm not exactly sure on the details of how to get one. Oh. And actually, Susanna's here. I can sell all these goodies. Jellyfish necklace, one gold. That's worth no one chance. Great. And I'm getting a lot of glow sticks. Wow. Let's see. Uh, I need to put my stuff where it goes. It goes there. What was here? What was here? Great. Pocket. Lot of th torches? Glow sticks was there, obviously. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to find a new statue for the white rightmost 
section. Excellent. Gold farm to go. I guess next part, next part, next thing to do will be to look up which statues can spawn a mob when sent a signal. Hey, these aren't dropping money. Well, at least they drop items. That's kind of the same thing. Actually, I don't remember if mobs even did drop money in these things before. Doesn't matter. I'll sell their items for money. Glow stick, hook, necklace. There's another gold. Thank you. I guess I don't need hooks. Well, um, I'm just going to do something else. Wonder if I have time. Could look for the ice machine down here somewhere. I don't know. Well, there is a lot of ice caves to look through. I think it's all around this space, at least. Yes, I think I got about at least half left to explore. So is that it? Is there anything else I can get from this? Hey, look! I almost forgot at the start of the episode. Ooh, hello. Golden squirrel. So at the start of the episode I said, oh man, I'm running low on gel. Hey looky, I'm at 231. Great. I didn't even think about that. Okay. So that's, I already have one. Okay, next time. Uh, I think I'll build my kill box. Come here, you. Thank you. I already have one so I can sell it to Susanna for lots of money. For as much as 10 jellyfish necklaces. Oh, I know what I can do. There's an item I can craft with actuators. Let's see, wire actuator. Where is... there he is. The guide. I'm gonna actually start referring to my NPCs as their role instead of their names because they do tend to die a lot and it's kind of hard to memorize names that when they get replaced they have a new name. So you're like, Ooh, what's your name again? So let's see, 10 wires, got a lot of those. 50 actuators, 10 iron or lead. Uh, what do I see? Actually, let me get up iron. Oh, I need 50 actuators. Actuator. That should be easy to get from uh, Susanna, the engineer. Uh, I can only assume that it's remotely turns on and off all actuator connected items. Ooh, look at all this gel in the house. Hope I have enough money. Let me see. Yeah, I should. Nine, two, three, four, five. Now this will be used to make a rod and I'm going to buy some extras just to have a stock of actuators. And I think I can make this at a workbench. I might need the tinker's table. Uh, looks like I do. Let's head on over there. There we go. And actuator stick. Maybe I need an anvil. Actuator stick. There it is. Rod activates actuators. And it's a good thing I have grand design here. Okay, this looks like a good, good place to test it out. So, hang on a second. Turn on actuators. That means I'm going to place actuators. Let's do these 10 blocks here. So, I haven't used this before. I'm going to left click. Great. Right click. Hmm. Oh, maybe I need wires on these. It's actually kind of smart. I should have actually turned on the wire and actuators at the same time so it would place both at once. Because they actually need wires, obviously. Now, okay, maybe this does something. Clicky, click. Hmm. Activates actuators. Maybe I have to deactivate them. Well, I did bring some switches with me. Let me just stick this on the ground. Plop. Connect it up. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, let me see. Where is the actuators? Where's bright? Okay, so it's off. Do I have to click directly on it? 
Okay. Huh, that's weird. Thought it would activate them all at once, but then you got switches for that. So I guess it's for... I don't know, quality of life improvements? Let me see if this does anything. Well, I guess it has some use. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. Okay. Well, this has been episode 48, I believe. Let me see. 6, 7, 8. Yes. If you like this video, leave a like. Let me know what people want to see. And if you want to follow along with the series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Next time, kill blocks. Yep. And if I have time, maybe I'll try looking for that ice machine in the ice caves. What else? Rails. Yeah. Maybe I'll find some rails in the caves too. Altar, museum, yeah, a lot of stuff to try out. Okay, till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.